So Photoshop beta generative fill just keeps getting better and better. And today we're gonna learn how to change and remove backgrounds and make your scene look more epic. We're literally gonna take a model and take her from the beach all the way to a forest. And we're gonna take a car from Japan all the way to Europe in just seconds. And we're gonna take a normal engagement photo and make it look more epic. We're also gonna make a whole tree disappear from a scene. So welcome back to the channel. My name's Shai. Enough talking. Let's check out how Photoshop Beta Generative Fill works. All right, so for my first photo here, we have a nice portrait, but I wanna change that whole background. So we're gonna go duplicate layer, hit duplicate layer, hit okay. So now we have a duplicate layer and we're gonna go to select subject. but I actually want the background, so we're gonna hit the invert button. So now you see the lines and we've had, we have our whole background actually selected. Now I'm gonna hit generative fill. Now let's get creative. Let's type in forest, cinematic, maybe some golden hour lighting, and let's hit generate. Wow, I actually really like this first one. Like that color of the forest even matches the dress. Now let's select option two. Not bad as well. And option three. Huh, I actually like all these options. Um, but let's jump to that first one. That first one really, really pops to me. Next photo, you might be doing uh, engagement photo or you might just have two couples Now you might be giving the photo to the client would you want to possibly give multiple options for that photo so we're also going to change the background here I already have my duplicate layer I'm going to hit select subject hit invert again hit generative fill let's get creative again um, maybe a vineyard Cinematic as well. Golden hour again, just because I love the way that lighting looks. Hit generate. Wow, not bad, not bad. Now, the ears do look a little funny here, so that's something you can uh, clean up. But otherwise, uh, I do like this photo here. Now let's see what option two looks like not bad don't like the red up here though and then let's try the third one oh, not bad this looks a little bit more like a like a vineyard now there might be some spots that you want to clean up so i'm not sure what this is on the left here so you could technically hit your lasso tool select that even all the way up here i'm going to hit shift also select over here because it looks a little weird in the water and then hit generative fill no prompt just hit generate not bad and rather than just the ocean now we have a vineyard with some water as well so obviously you can tighten this up and clean it up a little more but really great to give a client you know multiple options now you might have a photo where there's a crowd blocking whatever it is that you're shooting. In this instance, we're at a train station, but I want to remove all these people. So I'm going to hit my lasso tool again. I'm just going to highlight where all these people are. So I have people on the left here. I'm going to hit shift because I'm on a Mac. And I'm also going to highlight this gentleman here and also this gentleman here on the far right. Now I'm gonna hit generative fill, no prompt, and I'm gonna hit generate. Hmm. First option is not too good, didn't really remove these people. Let's see option two. All right, little better. Still kind of see some shadows of some legs, but definitely cleaner. And let's see the last version, option three. It left some people. So I'm gonna go with option two 
And what I'm going to do is use my lasso tool again and maybe highlight here. But I'm going to go around the subject a little bit more. I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to highlight here as well. I'm going to hit generative fill again. No prompt. Hit generate. So pretty cool, much cleaner on the right side. Oh, sorry, left side here. Right side's a little weird. So let's try option two, option three. Option three is great. So much cleaner here on the left and much cleaner here on the right. So if we look at the beginning, we have all those people here. And then now we have all of them gone. That's pretty darn cool. All right, so for this photo, we're gonna get a little creative and remove this whole tree from here. But I wanna see how it does with this fountain and this building in the background here. So we have our lasso tool selected, already have our duplicate layer. I'm just gonna trace around the tree here and around the fountain. Hit generative fill, no prompt, and I'm gonna hit generate. Not bad, not bad at all. I don't like how this looks here on the left. So let's see what option two looks like. Okay, not too bad. Let's see what option three looks like. That's pretty amazing. This definitely matches the building on the right side here. So I would go with this one here. All right, so we have another portrait here, full body length. Already have our duplicate layer. We're gonna hit select subject again. We're gonna invert that so we have the whole background selected and then we're going to hit generative fill and then let's and then let's type in let's try, let's try epic, epic mountain, mountain scene cinematic, cinematic golden, golden hour lighting, lighting. let's hit generate light. Okay, okay, not bad. Let's see option two and option three. Let's try again here. Let's add to the prompt. Realistic epic clouds. And let's hit generate. Not bad. Let's see option two, option three. Looks a little cartoonish, but does give you some different options. I'm going to go with option two here. Looks a little bit more rustic. And if you want to get artistic, you can go to the opacity and just lower the opacity a little and kind of blend in our ocean and blend in our new background to give it a little flavor. Now we have a car, but I want to change the entire background. So let's do something kind of crazy here. Let's select subject, invert that again. So the whole background selected, hit generative fill. I'm going to type in inside large train station. Cinematic scene, golden hour, light. Let's see how creative this looks. Hit generate. Ooh, not bad. Let's see option two and option three. I think option two looks the best here. I like the way the light hits off the car and the way the shadow is. So as you can see, sky's the limit here with Photoshop beta generative fill. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video on Photoshop's beta generative fill. I do have another video where I jump into so many other features. So feel free to check it out. Links will be in the description. In fact, while you're down there, leave a comment and let us know what prompts you're using to get those epic photos. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.